In this class, we are going to learn how to convert any ADF page in Oracle Fusion from the legacy faces to the new Redwood page. Suppose if you have a requirement in your project wherein your customer asks that is to convert any existing page in Oracle Fusion to Redwood. Suppose if your customer comes to know that Oracle has developed a page in Redwood for some of the functionality in Fusion, then obviously your customer will ask you to leverage the new Redwood page in their instance. For demonstration purpose, what I will do is, in the me, we are having add absence. I will go into this add absence. Suppose if the user wants to add the absence, I will click on this continue without a journey. If you see over here, the URL has changed to faces wherein the user can select the type of absence from here and they can raise the absence request. But your customer might ask you, change this to the Redwood page which Oracle has developed recently. If you come across such scenario, then we will see how to do the same in this class. A quick Google search using this keyword like enable the add absence Redwood page in Oracle Fusion will give you the answer from the AI. This would be more than sufficient. Basically, we have to enable this profile option in the Fusion by navigating to the setup and maintenance. But if you want to have a look at docs.oracle.com because sometimes the AI won't return you the correct data. For that purpose, we will navigate to the docs.oracle.com from the table of content for Oracle Fusion Cloud Absence Management 24B release. So this is the latest version of Fusion available at the time of recording this class. We have to navigate to the absence management and under that we have to navigate to Redwood add absence UI support for additional features. If we just scroll down, we are just interested in what is the profile option we have to enable. Basically, in order to enable any Redwood page in Oracle Fusion, you have to set the profile option which Oracle has created to S in most of the scenarios. So in this case, in order to enable the Redwood add absence page, we have to just enable this profile option. For that, we have to navigate to the setup and maintenance. We will do that. Click on the profile, select setup and maintenance. Click on the task. From here, we'll click on the search. So, we'll copy this keyword that is manage administrator profile values. I will search over here. Get into this. Now, here we have to search with the code which Oracle has provided. Just copy this and paste it over here just remove the space after the d click on search so we are getting this profile option code over here just select this and under the site oracle is saying set this to y so over here we have to set this to y in the site so we'll do that to y and click on save and close in most of the redwood pages this should be more than sufficient just by enabling the profile options but here in this case what oracle is saying there is one more thing we have to do in order to enable the add absence page in Redwood apart from this. So suppose if you are enabling any Redwood page in Fusion, if Oracle does not mention next case that is this one, then this should be more than sufficient. We can just navigate to the home page and you can click on the page which you have extended. That is click on the add absence and we will click on continue without journey over here. So it is still in the faces. In our case, as we are extending add absence, Oracle is saying we have to do this step as well. Basically, we have to enable this under the sandbox. So, we'll create a sandbox. Alternatively, if your Fusion instance supports directly navigating to that SCM Designer Studio, so it will automatically create a sandbox. But in my instance, it is not creating a sandbox. That is, we have to navigate to my client group, show more. Here you will see SCM Experience Design Studio. Click on this. So, the navigation is mentioned over here. If you just click on continue, it is not creating a sandbox in my instance. Suppose if it is allowing you, then it is well and good. So in our case, we will manually create a sandbox. Go to the configuration over here, sandboxes. I will name this as enable add absence redwood. Then from here, we have to select SCM Experience Design Studio. Click create and enter. From the tools, I will select this SCM Experience Design Studio. Next step, what Oracle is saying is we have to click on the Transaction Design Studio once we navigate to the HCM Design Studio that is over here. Click on this. Next, we have to select the absence from the action. Just click on this Repeat Display Rule. So this is mentioned over here. We have to select the absence from the action and then we have to click on the 
display repeated role that is over here next oracle is saying we have to check mark this active that is over here i have check marked this active over here next here we have to select the add absence it's over here we have to go to the add absence region then we have to basically search for this basic view option and make it to visible both the thing basic view as well as list view option both should be visible i have made this visible i will click on save and close and click on done i will publish this and box the same step is mentioned over here as well it's not yet done i will publish it done we have successfully published our sandbox now we'll go to the home i will navigate to me click on add absence i will click on continue without journey it is still reflecting the faces let me just log out and log in to see this in action i will just log out I have logged into my Fusion instance again. I will navigate to me, click on add absence. Click on continue without journey. This time if you see, we are seeing the redwood in the URL. So the user can select one of the absence type from here. I will select this and user can populate the details as it is mentioned over here on selection of the particular absence type. By following those steps, we can enable any page in Oracle Fusion to Redwood, provided Oracle has built the Redwood page for that particular module. In most of the cases, just enabling the profile option would be more than sufficient unless Oracle mentions that there is some other prerequisite before we enable the Redwood page. Suppose if you want to enable any Fusion Redwood pages, then you can just search in the Google with some keyword like this and the AI will give you the answer on the fly.